Nashville General Hospital has renovated its emergency room. Larry McCormick slash The Tennessean Nashville General CEO Joe Webb speaks during the December meeting of the Hospital Authority of Metropolitan Nashville and Davidson County at Nashville General Hospital on December 21, 2017, photo, Joe Buglewiz slash for the Tennessean, by photo. As a shutdown of inpatient care at Nashville General Hospital looms, its governing board voted Thursday to extend CEO Joseph Webb's contract through June 2018 with the option of renewing the contract for an additional year. Webb's contract was due to expire January. For its extension will include the same terms, a $350,000 annual salary and car allowance. It wasn't immediately clear if Webb would accept the contract. Webb's performance was due for review in January 2016, but that process wasn't undertaken until recent weeks. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. During a 45-minute discussion of Webb's leadership, a vote to extend his contract for a full year failed. Webb's performance received positive reviews from several board members, including Frank Stevenson. We have a responsibility to this hospital and to this community, and a big part of that is leadership, he said. There are some unchartered days in front of us. What's really important for us is stability at the hospital. But Nashville General Hospital Authority board member Sarah Finley expressed reservations about the outcome of the review, which has not yet been made public and doesn't appear to have been finalized. A number of things were identified where there were significant needs for improvement, she said. Some of those are at the very core of our operations. Board member Joel Sullivan said he was concerned about any contract that extended past June 30, the end of the fiscal year, because next year's funding levels are unclear. While the board's responsibility includes the CEO's contract and holding public meetings, key decisions about the hospital's future may lie elsewhere, with another board that is meeting behind closed doors. The 11-member group held its first meeting Monday. The board meeting comes several tumultuous weeks after Mayor Megan Barry announced the formation of plans to halt inpatient care at the city-owned Safety Net Hospital by June 30 next year. Her announcement took hospital officials, board members and community leaders by surprise. Newly appointed board member drive Mike Schatzlein resigned and community members blasted the mayor's plan. The mayor subsequently apologized for the way in which she made the announcement. In recent weeks, the hospital's finances have come under greater scrutiny. Barry announced the formation of an 11-member stakeholder team to guide the administration's final proposal met earlier this week behind closed doors. Stephanie Dyson, RN, checks on patient Deborah Frierson at Nashville General Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee, Tuesday, December 12. 2017 The Metro Nashville Hospital Authority Board met Thursday to discuss ongoing financial woes at the cash-strapped Safety Net Hospital. Photo, Andrew Nels slash The Tennessean.